Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanmant Ladwa and in this video we are going to solve first PUC computer science lab programs that is second lab program enter the following details for 10 employees employee code employee name basic salary DA HRA loans total salary and tax here they have given the table and the same table we are going to write it in a Excel I am going to write here salary for the month next in the next column I am going to write employee code I will press tab and in the next column I am going to write employee name and in the next column I am going to write basic salary and in the next column DA next column HRA in the next column loan and in the next column, I'll write total and the next column, tax. Next, here I'm going to adjust the width of these columns on double clicking on these columns. Here you can see I'm going to double click so that it is going to adjust the width of the column as per the text present in the column. Now, let me write employee code. I'm going to write employee code as 123 just for the sake of simplicity you can enter some other number as well so I'm going to select both of these two and I want to enter 10 employees information so I'm going to write 1 to 10 using fill handle now I'm going to write the names of the employee you can write any name for example I'm going to write the story then I'll write Lavanya and then I'm going to write Ganesh, Jagadish, Ramesh, I'll write Mohan, then I'm going to write Krishna, then I'm going to write, um, you can write any name, I'll write for example Raju, uh, I'll write Kalyani, then one more name. I'll write Lata for example yes okay next here I'm going to write the basic salary so you can write randomly any number I'm going to write 12,000 and here I'm going to write 10,000 and now I'm going to write 5,000 then I'll write here 4,500 sorry 45,000 it has become okay I'll make it 4500 you can write any number I'll write here 8000 and then I'm going to write 20,000 then I'm going to write 8500 6500 20,000 25,000 yes next what is asked here you can see Type the employee code, employee name, basic salary and loan. So we have to write employee code and name. We have already written code and name and then basic salary is also written and loan. So loan amount we have to write. For example, I'm going to write 4,500, 2,500, 2,000. You can write randomly any number over here. Again 2,000. And here I'm going to write 4,500, 5,000, 10,000, 12,000. Yes. Okay. So after the first question, next format all numbers as a currency. So what I need to do is I need to select only these numbers which will be coming in this particular column. Next, I'm going to click on general. Next, click on currency. Here you can see, once I click on currency, automatically you can find the rupee symbol in front of the numbers. Yes. So, after this, center the spreadsheet headings across the spreadsheet. Yes, it is done. Format all text. Okay. So, we'll go for formatting it. So, formatting means I'm going to merge and center these particular columns. So I'll click on merge and center and I'll make these headings 
bold by clicking on bold this is how we are going to go for formatting if you want to increase the size you, even you can increase the size of the heading and even you can give the color font color and all those things you can do it yes next after formatting you can see create a formula to compute da as 50 percent of the basic salary and copy this to all the cells okay so here we want to calculate da in order to calculate anything we have to begin with equal to symbol so basic salary i'm going to select which is present in c3 cell and 50 percent can be written as into 50 divided by 100 and then i'll press enter here you can see we got 6000 rupees that is 50% of 12,000 is 6,000. Then you can see a small square box in this selected cell at the bottom right hand side. So it is called fill handle. Using this, we'll be able to copy and paste the same formula applied to the selected text. So here I'm going to use fill handle and just drag and drop. And automatically it is going to apply the same formula to all of the remaining rows. So in order to see the text which is showing as hash you have to double tap on the column right yes next question is what here you can see create a formula to compute hra as 12 percent of the basic salary and copy this to all the cells now i have to calculate hra for that i have to type equal to basic salary which is present in c3 into what they've asked 12 percent i'm going to write 12 divided by 100 and press enter so here hra is calculated using fill handle will drag and drop otherwise you can double click on this so that it can apply the same formula to rest of the rows next is what next is total so i want to calculate total so how to calculate total salary so i'm going to add basic salary plus da plus hra minus loan that gives me total so i'm going to write equal to here i'm going to write sum press tab select from basic salary da okay hra select close the bracket minus loan and then press enter so here we got the total using fill handle just double tap on this fill handle automatically it is going to apply the same formula to rest of the rows so after this you can see we have to calculate the tax if total salary is greater than 5 lakh compute tax as 20 percent of total salary otherwise 10 percent of total salary yes so here this is the monthly salary in order to calculate the tax we have to have the annual salary for that i'm going to right click on this and click on insert so i want to insert column on the left hand side so i'll press ctrl z once again and here i'm going to select this right click on this insert so here we got one column so now i'm going to write here annual income or annual salary you can write annual salary double tap on this here also you can double tap next so annual salary can be calculated as equal to monthly salary which is present in g3 cell into 12 because in a year we have got 12 months so that's the reason we have to multiply monthly salary by 12 next press enter here you can see we got the total annual salary so using fill handle just double tap on this you will get the annual salary here you can find nobody has crossed more than 5 lakh so hence 20 percent of the tax will not be applied to any of these employees so what we can do is i'll just make certain changes so that it crosses more than 5 lakh for example i'm going to enter here 40 000. here you can see a person called Mohan is crossing the annual salary more than 5 lakh. Once again, check out this question. If total salary is greater than 5 lakh, compute tax as 
ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ टोटल अदरवाइज टेन परसेंट ऑफ टोटल सैलरी यूजिंग अ फॉर्मूला तो वॉट वी कैन डू हियर इज एल राइट इक्वल टू विल यूज द सेलेक्शन स्टेटमेंट कॉल्ड इफ एंड एल प्रेस टैप हियर यू कैन सी लॉजिकल टेस्ट सो आई हैव टू सेलेक्ट द एनुअल सैलरी विच इज प्रेजेंट इन एच थ्री सेल इफ इट इज ग्रेटर दैन फाइव लैक फाइव लैक If it is true, I'll put comma. Automatically, you can find value if true. It has to apply twenty percent of the annual salary. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select annual salary into twenty divided by hundred. Now I'm going to put comma. Here you can see value if false. Otherwise, ten percent. Correct. So I'm going to select annual salary which is present in H three cell into ten. Divided by hundred, and then close this if bracket and press enter. Here you can find so ten percent is applied to the employee called Kasturi. So similarly, you can just drag and drop up to here. You can calculate manually. So only ten percent is applied. So as soon as I use the fill handle and drag and drop for a person called Mohan, you can find. 20% of the annual salary is applied as a tax i'm going to use the fill handle and just drag and drop to the remaining rows i hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood thank you